And we are back with our pet of the week here on this Friday afternoon. This dog. Isn't he great? He seems to be very happy. I'm, I'm here right with now. Thanksgiving tidings. He is getting double teamed. How Kim can Pitt you not love a dog who has a face <laughs> like that? Great to have Kim Pitwood with us. She is the executive director, of course, with the Greenville Humane Society. And so tell us about this dog that is just. Uh, just really he's, enjoying a good run. He's having right a great here. time he here. Is, um, this is Wishbone. He's an eight week old Chinese Sharpe and Lab mix. What a mix. And there's actually six in the litter, and three have that very distinctive, squinched up face yep. that makes them just so unique. Um, would wow. be a fantastic family dog because they're very loyal, they're mm -hmm. very smart. They're easy to train, and he's been really relaxed all you know all day today. Coming into the Hanging studio, right and not everybody is when they come under the lights. So a little bit of a bigger dog, right? Sixty yeah, pounds. Sixty so. pounds. Sixty okay. pounds. So he right. he would be a fun family dog. All right, and how much for a wishbone? He's one twenty-five, and he's already been neutered, and he's okay. already had his first set of shots. Oh, please, could you just keep on doing that? I'm really loving this. All right, so we got Thanksgiving. Coming up here, and right. that means we've got some treats that are hanging around. And a lot of these treats that we consider our treats are really not good for dogs, dogs or cats. Really, here, right? No, turkey by itself is great, right. but when you get into turkey skin, when you get into some of the greasy stuffing, that can cause pancreatitis. So um, mm. we really don't want to encourage you to do any droppings or any, give any little morsels to the dogs. Yep. Um, onions are bad. Yep. Raisins are bad. Um, so, you know, some onions. of these I don't things, think I've ever fed my dog well, onions. You, you know, my dog will go underneath <laughs> as we're cooking and they'll lap up the garlic and they'll lap up the oh, onions that might drop well, on the floor. Well, that's a good point there, right? They're not necessarily being You're fed them. They're just them, being they're dropped just, onto the you know, floor. I have and, and labs that aren't yeah. too proud to beg. So they're mm -hmm. right down there doing my, doing my cleanup. Okay. So really, it's surprising the list um, that we've got posted here. Okay. We really want folks to, you know, normal foods that you think would be harmless or not. Yep. And um, we really wanted to bring awareness to the fact that some of these things can really cause big problems. And a lot of folks think given a dog a bone, mm -hmm. like wishbone, is a good thing. It's definitely mm -hmm. not a good thing with the turkey bone because it can get lodged in the esophagus, sure can, yeah. can get lodged in the tummy. All right. Very important information. Again, if you're interested in wishbone here, you saw the number right there. What is it again? It went right off the screen. 242-3626. And we're up until 630 tonight. Okay. And lots of puppies on the floor. Come on early. Get your family, family gift. Mm -hmm. Favorite food Thanksgiving? What turkey. Is it? Turkey. Standard for most. <laughs> Kim, great to be with you. Always good to be here. Have a happy Thanksgiving to mm -hmm. you. And a wishbone, too, wherever he ends up going. Look outside. <laughs>